Today we're taking a look at an innovative product by MagMod and it will really help you get some softer light on your on-camera flash that's a little more convenient than the traditional way. So today we're taking a look at the Mad MagMod Starter Flash Kit 2. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we get in there. Okay, so we get the Mag Grid 2 which just helps disperse the light from your flash. A rubber silicone this is actually the magnetic part a little carry bag and a nice little chef's hat if that's what you're into so now traditionally I carry one of these in my bag and it just kind of opens up and sits over the edge of your flash. Let me move this camera up. Go. So you just kind of like slide it over the edge here and then you run this strap around and kind of just cinch it in place and then that kind of diffuses the light for you but as you can see you know it's it can get if it gets bumped it gets kind of all over the place and then it doesn't look really good um, I'm not a professional photographer I don't take photos in a professional setting but I can imagine if you were shooting at a wedding or something and somebody bumped this and now they're looking around and they the wedding camera person has got their stuff all cockeyed um, could play a factor and just you know the look of your professionalism but I will say these work perfectly fine I've never had an issue with them when I have used them uh, it's just they don't at least this version it doesn't stay very secure on there I don't think okay so let's take a look at this magmod now so this is basically we'll call it the base plate it is made out of rubber so that way it can you know there's different flash heads out there some are circular some are this way I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the flash off while putting this on I don't want to rip my camera off and then you guys got to see me cry while I'm on camera Okay, so I think we're good there. Slide that in place. Okay, so now this is your base. So now we have a few different options. We can either slap that grid on there and you see it just kind of snaps into place. And then we can even put that dome on top of it also so now that's what your new profile looks like versus what we had going on with the foldable one and just as simple when you're taking it off you take those off and that will just stay on your flash so every time that you want to either use the grid you can just slap that in place or if you just want to use the bulb Slap that in place, and you'll be good to go. So of course, once you have everything on there, you should be good to go. So if you are sensitive to light warning, I am going to cycle this flash right now. So if so, go ahead and look away. Okay, so if you've never seen a diffuser or understood the need for a diffuser, you know, think back to, uh, you know, with the smaller cameras with a pop-up flash and kind of that blown out face look that you'd get and everything else was dark around it. Well, these lights can be very harsh if you were to be straight on. So normally you'll cant them off to, off to the side or up top to bounce light to make it uh, look how you want it to look. But sometimes you may have to get more of a head-on flash. Uh, so I'll show you kind of what each of these things accomplishes 
Uh, so if you're sensitive to light, go ahead and look away at this time because uh, I will be cycling this flash. So uh, this is what it looks like straight head on. And then if we were to put the honeycomb on there, we'll see a little bit, the, the light will spread out a little bit more. And then if we put our dome on there, and then if we put our spreader and our dome on there, so that's kind of the differences. So like I said, this was the flash kit too. I think the original flash kit just comes with that mag grip and the uh, bulb, the mag sphere. Um, but other ones, other products that they have uh, that you can get pro gels of different colors to put up on there. Uh, then they have a mag bounce. So if you're not familiar with that is, think of this kind of cut in half and you sit the flash straight up so it comes up and bounces out. So it would kind of light up the scene but not be directly into somebody's face. And then the mag snoot, which uh, I guess really pinpoints that flash to a smaller area. It looks like, I won't mention what it looks like. So that this will definitely be replacing my old fold-up one in the camera bag. Uh, you know, this is a soft rubber so it can be collapsed down for packing so it shouldn't be an issue taking up any additional space but having a at least to me a better looking uh, diffuser for the camera also i kind of like i always get paranoid with my flashes in my bag that it's going to smash my glass but that'll give it a little bit extra connection so if you have internal bounce cards or dispersers on your flash you can still access them while that's on there so that's not a problem so yeah think it think it'll work out great for me thanks for sticking around to the end if you found this review useful please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button so we can get out to more people across youtube and then if you're into these kind of reviews go ahead and hit subscribe and hit that bell notification to get notified every time a new video comes out if you have any questions about the product that we looked at today, please go ahead and put that down in the comment section. I'll answer it to the best of my abilities. And if there's anything else that you want to see reviewed on this channel, please put that down in the comment section along with anything in particular that you want tested with that product. So that way I can make sure I do it during that video. Other than that, that's going to do it. See you next time. Bye.